Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the webcast from Photox Securities. I am your host and guide Anindya Banerjee. Dollar P May futures is expected to open 8 paisa lower around 34.84 because April futures expires around noon. Levels 74.65 is a very important support level on the May futures that is roughly around uh, 74.30-35 on the spot. Over the past few weeks, if I take the spot as a uh, reference on dollar rupee, the dollar rupee has been between a range of 74.35 to 75.35 on the spot levels. Therefore, it is quite expected that this support level will hold and we will get a bounce. And tonight is a very important event that is the US Central Bank meeting and the focus will be what they have to say about their future path of monetary policy. Now the current expectation is that the US Central Bank will continue with its zero interest rates and quantitative easing that is they are buying bonds uh, from the market. That policy will continue for an extended period of time. But in case the Fed talks slightly about even drops a hint about an early taper that is if they ta talk about exiting this easy money policy earlier than expected then we can see a very a sharp up move in the dollar uh, and tomorrow the uh, the uh, usd INR can actually gap higher but in case the fed does not give any such hint of an exit from its easy money policy and continues to say that they are not yet fully impressed with the current pace of US economic recovery and the the easy money policy should continue for an extended period of time then we can see dollar rupee uh, come down and test the support levels of 74 uh, 65 which I talked about on the May futures as an important zone for the day ahead of the US Central Bank meeting, we don't expect much of a volatility. It may stay in a very tight and a narrow range. Resistance on the May futures is around 75 and then 75.20. On the international currencies, again, ahead of the Federal Reserve meeting, uh, we don't expect much of a volatility. Uh, it can be a, a more of a, a range bound action in uh, both the uh, euro and the pound on the yen we continue to be bearish and uh, but again overnight it is advisable that you shouldn't carry overnight positions because of the fed meeting risk so that's it folks have a fantastic day ahead